selecting cases with certain or specific values from single variable or multiple variables in SPSS. Here in this data view in SPSS, I have 1000 cases and there are several multiple variables. The first variable is uh, multinomial. The second variable, which is six, is nominal. The third one is ordinal. The uh, fourth one is nominal and the ethnicity is uh, multinomial, the family scale, the homeowner is nominal, the cars or number of cars are um, numeric or scale, the income is scale. So there are here several variables, nominal, multinomial, ordinal, and scale. Clicking on the variable view here, for the first variable, the occupation, if you click on values, there are 15 categories for different jobs and occupations. And for the second variable, which is the sex, is either male or female, one for male, two for females. And for the education, which is an ordinal variable, there are five classes there uh, from GCSE to PhD from one to five. And for the marital status, either zero for not married and one for married. And for the ethnicity is a multinomial uh, variable which has seven categories in it from one to seven, one for white and seven for mixed. And for the home owner, which is nominal variable, zero for no and one for yes, they own a home. Let us do quick uh, descriptive statistics. Click on analyze, then scroll down to descriptive statistics. Click on frequencies. Drag the occupation or the jobs into the variable box here and click on OK. As shown here, there are 15 different categories for uh, occupation uh, from doctors to professors and the number of uh, uh, doctors or uh, professors uh, in each uh, category is uh, given here. If we are interested in only selecting uh, specific cases uh, with certain values such as doctors if we are interested in selecting doctors and dentists and as shown here there are 56 and 60 doctor and dentist uh, to specifically select only these two um, subcategories from the occupation variables i.e. to select only two categories out of the 15 categories the way to do that is to click on uh, data, click on select cases, and a new window will appear here. Select the occupation and then click on if condition is satisfied. Here we have for the output three options, either the selection of the uh, cases to be filtered out, uh, for the unselected cases and retain the selected cases uh, or copy the selected cases into a new data set or delete the unselected cases. Let's stick with the first output. So we're going to filter out unselected cases using the occupation variable. If I click on F here, in this window, I'm going to drag the occupation. And since the uh, doctor is given a value of one and dentist is given a value of two, so drag the occupation to this expression box, add the equal sign and then add one, then add or, uh, and then uh, again click on occupation equal to Two. So this is the expression that uh, select from the occupation which have uh, 15 categories in it, only the category for the doctors and the category for the uh, dentist. Uh, if I click on continue, as shown here, the equation for occupation um, or occupation one or occupation two is shown here. If I click on OK, and then uh, back again to the data view as shown here uh, 
a new variable is generated which is labeled as filter and those um, values in the occupation variable which has in it nurses pilots and uh, laborers and so on are being crossed out as shown here and any value with a one or two uh, such as here selected for doctor is retained since the doctor here have a value of one and for a value of one here and if we scroll down here the doctor is selected and then a dentist also is selected and retained so uh, this is the way to select certain or specific cases with the specific values here we chose the doctor and dentist and if we quickly do a descriptive analysis click on analyze descriptive statistics go for frequency reset that again and then drag the occupation to here and then click on ok as shown here the occupation has only two categories in it doctor and dentist 56 doctors and 60 dentists comparing this table to above table so these two categories has been uh, selected from the uh, occupation variable these uh, original data has been retained only the unwanted uh, values have been crossed out but the data retain the same if we click back again into the select cases and then instead of uh, uh, filtering out unselected cases I'm going to reset the whole thing and then click on OK and get out of this don't save it uh, back again to the original data get rid of this uh, uh, filter variable now the data is back again to its original uh, clicking back again into the select cases let's select the cases here select the occupation uh, if condition and then instead of filtering out unselected ca cases uh, copy selected cases to a new data set so I'm going here to select certain cases and then generate a new uh, data set and give it a name let's say um, two um, categories and then click on F and again the same thing occupation drag the occupation to here give it a value of one then add the or and then drag again the occupation equal to two and then click on continue click on ok again as shown here a new uh, data set is generated or a subset gen uh, data set is generated and as shown here in, in this data uh, view only doctor and dentist are selected from the occupation variable and retained and the rest are removed so here a subset of data is generated from the original uh, data and if I click on analyze and then back again to descriptive uh, and then frequency drag the occupation here drag, click on OK a table is generated for only doctors and dentists so this is a second way of selecting cases and uh, those selected cases with certain values or certain labels are placed into a new data view in SPSS uh, the third way if we just close that window back again to the original data and then this is the subset data then let's uh, close that also without saving back to the original data in the original data select the cases and then in this select cases window reset the whole thing and I'm going to again select the occupation and then instead of generating a new data 
uh, view or data sheet i'm going to delete unselected cases so i'm going for the third option for the output and if i click on uh, f then drag the occupation equal one then add the or and then occupation two and then equal two and then click on continue and then click on ok the original data is truncated or chopped and only now it have 116 uh, cases in it and the rest has been removed all other occupation other than dentist and doctors are removed and only dentist and doctors cases are retained with all the variables here so there are three different ways to select the data and generate an output so resuming back again to the original um, data let us uh, suppose now that we are interested in uh, selecting cases from the occupation the, for those who are doctor dentist and nurses and those who are male which is number one and those with ethnicity of uh, let's say number one uh, so here we have uh, multiple variables the occupation the uh, gender and the ethnicity and we want to select certain cases or values from each one of these uh, variable from the occupation we are interested in selecting three different values and for the sex only male and for ethnicity only white and the way to do that is to back again to the select cases uh, click on occupation select if condition is satisfied I'm going to uh, stick with the output filter out of unselected cases click on F and then here since we are interested in selecting five uh, uh, values first of all let's open a bracket and then drag the occupation we are interested in the occupation which is a doctor number one uh, so the selection can be either doctor or uh, another occupation here or number two for dentist uh, or uh, another occupation for nurse which is equal to a value of three and so now from the occupation variable three uh, categories will be selected doctor dentist and nurses then i want also to select from the sex the males which is a value of one insert the add uh, symbol and then select the sex equal to one for male and then add uh, the uh, and uh, symbol and then select the ethnicity which equal to one and then click on continue then click on ok and uh, back again to the data view as shown here those cases that has been crossed that do not match the criteria uh, uh, input looking at this filter variable this case has been selected because it's a doctor it is a male and it is white and if we scroll down here also another case is selected which is the nurse male and it is white and if we scroll down here another one for nurse let's click on the uh, descriptive statistics uh, let's go for frequencies select occupations and then click on ok uh, table is generated with these criteria there are only doctors and nurses who are uh, males and white so there are no dentists that are male and white so this is the way to select certain cases with certain values from either a single variable or a multiple variables in SPSS if you find this video useful do subscribe to the channel 
leave any comment in the indicated uh, box and activate the notification bell to receive the recent and uh, latest release uh, into the channel of uh, several different video clip and click on the like icon and share the video link with others so the channel can expand and improve to include a large scope of uh, different statistical method and how to analyze data using uh, several different uh, statistical packages such as SPSS, Excel, Stata, Jamovi, R Statistic, or Statistics, Graphpad, Prism, GPower, Python, and RevMan. If you are a student or a researcher and you have a data, whether it is um, um, quantitative all qualitative and you want to perform a statistical uh, analysis on that data using any of the softwares listed here whether it's SPSS, Excel, Stata, Jamovi, R Statistics, Graphpad, Prism, Revman, GMP, Python then do contact me to arrange for either a one-to-one -one private tutor session or a training course uh, on any of these uh, statistical packages. My contact details are given here. So don't hesitate to uh, write to me or email me if you need uh, a private one-to-one uh, -one, uh, tutoring or a training course.